We do indeed. There are two young ones that are absolutely having the best time in the sand. Oh, no. Older siblings come and ruined it. Oh, no. That was so cool. Look, the game's going to continue. It's lots of cheeky little ones running around all over the place. Our wrinkly four-headed little Benjamin button. There we go. Yes, I'm going to touch you on the top of your head. That's what I'm going to do. You. Go <laughs> That's going to... Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is crazy. The kids at the beach. Kids are at the beach, exactly, Seb. Things are out of control. Is that other female still right behind us? Yes. So there's another female, as you can see. That's Granny. That's behind us. She's an old female with sunken temples, quite a wrinkled body. But she's just watching the kids, making sure they don't get too out of hand. And she's right behind Seb. And then the kids are over there having a little bit of a game. And there's another two in front of us that might join shortly as well, because they're also pushing each other around. So there they are. No, nope, disappearing. <laughs> and well, I suppose it's all fun and games when there's so many big adults around, you can afford to be like this and to play around. Now, the must bulls that are here, there are two of them and they are massive individuals. You can see one that has just exposed himself now. So he's just up on top here, which is that guy over there. And that is not a small elephant by any stretch of the imagination. There he is. You can see long, tall legs, massive individual. And then the biggest one of them all is to the right of that. And we can just see his bum sticking out. So that's his bum over there. That's the big guy that has got quite a set of tusks on him. So I'm, we'll go and have a look at him when the kids stop playing around in front. Because for now, we've got grand behind us, kids in front of us, and everybody else all over the place. Sometimes it's just great to stop and just listen. Jacqueline, you say you love, 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 love cheeky ellies. Well, I think everybody does. There's nothing better than a cheeky elephant. I love when they have a good game. Are you all going to come say hello? There we go. You can see they're right here. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> One is not so brave, I don't think. Are you going to start your nonsense with Granny now? A little bit more respectful when it comes for Gran. There's no smacking a trunk onto the top of one's head mm -hmm. so <laughs> and rightly so i would imagine i think granny deserves a bit of respect she's traveled this area for many a year and surely deserves it i wonder if she's potentially not the female that might have been in in estrus because she came down you can see she's leaking from her temporal glands now i know there's an aerial in the way i do apologize about that unfortunately i just can't reposition due to the place well to the amount of elephants that are around me but she's leaking from there she's also showing signs where she potentially may have been mated with because she was throwing sand onto her um, genital area which is where obviously males might mate with them and oh here he comes look Seb he's coming down the hill for us the big guy there he is and he's got a massive notch in his ear so I wonder if we've seen him before there he is you can see the big hole at the bottom left of the ear I wonder if any of you recognize him I certainly don't think I've seen him here that should be quite a telltale notch if we have seen him before the big U that he has there it is you can see it. it's almost a perfect U shape that he's got but look at the size of him i really do hope he comes down because his size in comparison to all the others but sorry sir but you got to get this behind you i'm sorry it's just all happening all over the place <laughs> yep that's how you end your friday maybe somebody had one too many to drink and now was in <laughs> but <laughs> what are you doing elephant i don't think he even knows what he's doing Looks as though he's about to pile. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> whoopsie! Definitely too much to drink. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You now you can see here comes another one. What are you doing? Come, get up. You're not allowed to lie down like that. Whoopsie! We're going sliding down the bank by the looks of it, head first into the sand. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Now, I know I said it a few times earlier, but this is epic. It doesn't get any better than this. 
Hey little guys, there's also little ones again in front. Oh. Seb, you're about to get your backside sniffed. I don't know but where to point the camera at anymore. Seb is saying he doesn't know where to point the camera because, well, it's just things happening everywhere. Ariel, you say, wow, even your balance is better than that. Well, yes, Ariel, I don't think that was the most graceful show from an elephant. Certainly can work on his descent down the banks. It was not the best way. Although he was aided by a another that pushed him down now i'm just watching the female behind us because she really is right right behind the vehicle at the moment poor seb is like i say is going to get a trunk touching his backside just now which might be an awkward feeling seb but there's the back of the car and there you go there she is right behind us still feeding off the vegetation isn't this amazing that they are just so at home with us there's not been one single display of aggression from one elephant we have not even had a head shake we haven't had air, ears flaring at us it has been just completely relaxed and completely chilled and they've absolutely been a treat to be around wow looks if there's a little cheeky one in front hello Riti, you're wondering if baby elephants from the same herd get along. Well, Riti, all of this that you're seeing this afternoon is really just fun, playful games. It's not actually very serious when they push each other around like this. This is all them just being a part of a herd together, and they really do look after one another. You'll find if one of these very small elephants, like this little one that we see on the edge there, if that little elephant unfortunately gets pushed over or it gets hurt in some way, you'll find the whole herd, even the siblings, will come running to see if this little one's okay and to try and protect it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoopsie. There we go. Don't fall off. No. <laughs> so this is all just games that they're just having a bit of fun together. As soon as it gets serious, you'd find that the whole herd would come. And the older siblings are very good. Now let's hear if they're going to do it again for us. There was some mumbling and grumbling, but nothing major just yet. Now, like I say, it's nothing serious with this, and if it was serious, everybody would come in. So they do get along very well, and they make sure that they do look after one another as much as possible. There's our big guy still up at the top, and there's a number of males here. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six different big males that are here. Tony, you say this is absolutely the best sighting that you have seen. Well, Tony, I, I must be honest. I think Fang, for me, probably was my best one, just from a point of view that it was just the most interesting behavior, and it was incredible to have Fang circling the car. But this has just been the most joyous and amazing show of fun and happiness. And if you do not sit in an elephant sighting like this and, and your heart is not filled with happy memories and happiness as a whole then i don't know so for me i agree with you this is an absolutely extraordinary sighting and it's not a sighting we're going to see every day we are being spoiled by being able to spend some time around them and that fact that they're so relaxed and they all around the vehicle and it's almost like i say we've been accepted into the herd the fact that we've got no issues even the young ones being right on the front of the car there hasn't been a single mother that's come in and inspected us and chase the babies away from us like they sometimes do so we've really been fortunate to have shared this time with these ellies and the lucky thing is that our time is not over with them the, the best part about this is that we have the technology these days to go into infrared and so we don't actually have to leave these ellies at all we can just carry on enjoying what we are seeing and here comes another female hello girl are you going to come say hello as well <laughs> we've got very little tusks for her age I'm sorry, I didn't mean it in an ugly way. A little bit unsure, so this is a younger individual. Ooh, Jamie, you were asking me what my favorite thing is about elephants. <sighs> I think their intelligence probably is my favorite thing. It, just the way that they are able to know what's going on the similarities that they display with us as people the, the fact that they have some sort of cognitive thinking where they can work out what's going on and really are very very clever about what they do and, and there's been multiple times we have seen elephants just display intelligence far beyond what i thought they would be capable of and it really is the best part about it for me you know, i'm sure other people have other 
sort of parts of elephants that make them happier but i think intelligence and then just the social bonding and how they look after each other as a family interestingly enough though this female is very skinny though now when we talk about skinny elephants and no often we don't know what a skinny elephant is but look at her hip here you see there look at how that hip is protruding now that is not often seen on an elephant so she needs to feed a little bit more and get a bit more weight onto her and definitely needs a little bit more in the way of muscles but it also looks as though there's a bit of atrophy that's there i wonder if she didn't potentially have no her right side is the same so it definitely needs to feed up a little bit more hello little one a little greeting the uh, little one's just coming to say hello to whoever that is here comes another one of the adult females again down the hill it seems as though a message has gone out because everybody's starting to move a little bit even the granny behind us Grumbling again. 